Hi guys, and welcome back to another installment of Secret Graceland. Let's dive in. When you first walk into the house, let's stop right there in the foyer and discuss the chandelier hanging overhead. Here is a shot taken from late 1957, taken in the foyer just inside the front door. The light that originally hung in this spot was a little more boxy and had a caged look to it. Then in this photo in 1963, it just looks a little bit different. And then here's a look from more recently, and the chandelier has several strings of crystals draping the entire thing. I thought it was interesting that the chandelier that the Presleys had originally was swapped prior to 1963. In the last Secret Graceland, we talked about the lamps on the hall table, and I have a bit more to add today. In the foyer hallway that leads to the parents' bedroom is a side table with two lamps. If you go on the tour today, they have skinny vertical glass bases. In this photo from the mid-70s, the lamps were larger with gold round bases. In this still from a Graceland tour video by Priscilla Presley in 1984, the lamps have changed again. I can't see them, but they could be the same ones that are there today, just with different lampshades. Also in the last video, we discussed the white chairs in the living room, and I said that these aren't original to the house. I believe that to be true for a long time, and have even said it in multiple past videos, but now I'm not sure. Viewer Amy said that on a recent Ultimate VIP guided tour, she asked the tour guide specifically about these, and that guide said that they are from Elvis's office, but were reupholstered to go with the living room. So I don't know. I might have been totally wrong on this, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Now let's take a closer look at something that was once in this space and a similar one that still is. Here is Janelle McComb, a longtime friend of the Presley family, and Elvis sitting on the couch in the living room in 1971. They are showing off the poem that Janelle wrote for Lisa Marie on Elvis's behalf, The Priceless Gift. On the coffee table in front of Mrs. McComb is a green bottle. It looks a lot like I Dream of Jeannie's bottle, but it is actually a Murano paint-a-glass wine decanter. Here it is up close when it came out for auction. According to the Certificate of Authenticity, Vernon gave this green one to Charlie when he moved out after Elvis passed away. So you won't see this one on the tour, but you will spot the red one. In the music room on the coffee table is the other one. Looks like this one is missing its lid. So recently I was going through my photos of the house to post on my socials and I did a double take at the glasses on the shelves in the dining room. The large red goblet looks quite a bit like that red decanter, and these green goblets look a lot like the green one. So I googled vintage Murano wine decanters, and it turned out that they were sold in a set. Here are some similar decanters and glass sets from that time period. And here is an eBay listing for that same exact decanter. It's actually linked in my sources below if you want to buy it. It's only $40. These glasses actually look different than the ones on the dining room shelf, but there are four of them. It looks like even though the green decanter is gone, possibly its matching glasses remain. The auction listing for the green one says that both decanters were purchased as a pair by the Presleys with the initial remodeling of the house when they moved in in 1957, though I don't see these on the itemized receipt from the interior design company. A while back, I created a video called Graceland Art, and I will link it up here and in the description box below. You can watch it after this one is over. In it, we looked at a couple of paintings that hung in Graceland's kitchen at one point and were later given to Elvis's cousin, Patsy Presley. Like this one, soups on with a steaming pot, veggies, and a recipe written out underneath. At the time, I didn't recognize it, but later found it. Linda, Vernon, and his bunny ears are just inside the kitchen next to the oven. Yes, the kitchen had a swinging door on it during Elvis's time. This is the same view now. The painting must be really small because it was above the oven but below that wooden detail. Now, let's get into the title of this video, The Pool House. Here's a photo from the 1970s and how it looked when Elvis last saw it. So technically, this wasn't actually a pool house. It was a hallway off the side of the trophy building, but most fans call it that to identify this space, so that's why I'm referring to it as that. Let's take a look inside. In there was a dressing room with a shower and two bathrooms, men's and women's. Here's Gate Guard and Elvis's cousin Harold Lloyd inside the pool house. 
on the door is a queen. And from what I understand, that's what differentiated the bathrooms. Maybe that's why he's making a silly face because it's the ladies room. Outside of the bathroom was a barber chair, vanity, and a small TV. Viewer Ruth Daniel was kind enough to allow me to use her personal photos of this space during her visit in December of 1974. The caption on this one says, Carol in Elvis's barber chair with a Von Hill and Harold Lloyd pretending to fix her hair, side bathroom. On the left side of the picture is a shower. Let's take a closer look. Here they are being silly, pictured standing in the pink tiled shower. Lastly, here is Ruth that gave us this amazing peek into a space Elvis spent time in, but no longer exists. Thank you, Ruth. Pictures of the pool house are often mislabeled as upstairs at Graceland, so hopefully this clears up some confusion. Here's that 1970s view again of the pool side of the trophy building with a small curved staircase leading from the back door and large steps leading into the pool house with a slider door. Now here is a photo from 1982 when the house was being prepared to open as a museum. It needed bathrooms for guests as well as sturdy stairs. The curved staircase leading out of the trophy building was replaced with sturdy brick steps. And as you can see, the pool house or trophy building side bathroom was gutted. Now here is my picture of this area. There's those brick steps leading fans out from the trophy building and the white building is now public restrooms. Sometimes people are surprised that Graceland has bathrooms, but they do. They are accessed from the other side of the wall here in the center of your screen. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.